Our next storyteller is indeed uh, a yoga instructor, and she is an active duty spouse. And yes, she is really coming up to the stage this time. Please welcome Marlita Franks. and 
and you know work a full two weeks. And in addition to that, you know, my last science course is actually finishing up in a week with final. So boom, we can do this. Yeah, let's do this. So that's the kind of decisions I have found myself making in the middle of a grocery store. What kind of mac and cheese do I want, and where in the country do I want to live? <laughs> so we get to work. He flies across the country a little bit early so we can get a little house hunting in and find an apartment. And a week goes by, and we're still hanging on to hope because there's one more place we've got to look at, uh, but the other ones weren't so, not so much. Uh, so I'm hanging on to hope, and the night before my final, torrential rains start falling in the New Mexican desert, where it never rains. Okay, Albuquerque, there are flash floods all over the city, and Route 66 turns into a river. And those big orange and white construction barrels start floating into downtown. I make my way home and to find that the air vents at ground level have become two cascading waterfalls pooling in our basement. And there's no floor in sight. So I muster all the tiny ant-like strength that I can in my body. And I carry all of our furniture and storage goods upstairs to ground level. And I spend the rest of the night and the next morning shop backing and mopping uh, all the water up before I go to work and then the kids center and top off the day with chemistry final. So, I walk into the classroom and the fluorescent lights are bright and they're bouncing off of the four white walls and the linoleum floors are hard underfoot. And the only decorative element in the entire room are the green and white scantron sheets <laughs> laid out on the desk like the saddest Papel Picado Fiesta banners New Mexico has ever seen. This is my going away party. You guys, it's pretty terrible. So, in the middle of the test, all of my muscles start tightening up and my vision starts to blur. And the question in front of me, all the C's and the O's and H's that are supposed to represent variations of organic chemical compounds start to blur together. I realize I'm hitting the wall here. I don't know the answer. And all of these thoughts start flooding in. We still need to find a place to live. I need to sell the truck. We need to, um, I need to remember to pick Matt up from the airport tonight, and we're gonna have a yard sale tomorrow morning. How am I gonna do all of this if I can't answer this question in front of me? So I get the brilliant idea. If somebody could just let me know that I'm headed in the right direction on this question, everything else will be okay. So I take this thought up to my professor, and I just lay it all out there for him. I'm like, oh, he's so flooded. And, you know, I'm, I've got a short notice move. I've mirrored all my options down to two. So could you just please tell me if I'm in the right direction? <laughs> <laughs> and this look of compassion crosses his face. And he just sighs and brings his hands together. On a final, all that I can tell you is to select from the options given on the question and make sure it's the one that best suits the question. <laughs> yes, sir, thank you. I'm deflated. I walk back to my desk, I slump down in the chair, and I hold my head in my hands, and I close my eyes. And I just focus on breathing and I feel my feet on the floor. And what comes to me in that moment is the sounds of pencils scribbling furiously all around the room. And I realize everyone in here has something going on in the background. And this thought brings me comfort. All of this collective effort reminds me of Matt and that together we make the impossible possible. So I take my pencil up too, and I fill in an answer to the question in front of me, and then I move on to the next question, and then the next, and then I'm gonna take the next step, and the next, until we make it all the way to DC. <laughs>